Acoustic Shop Channel. I am John here with my trusty and faithful I'm sidekick. I'm not a sidekick. You are a sidekick. I'm at least as important or more. I would love to kick you in your side. Anyway, this is Jeremy in here right now, and he's going to be holding the mandolin because we're talking about guitars. In fact, we're talking about this guitar right here. This is the 37 pre War Triple O from Atkin, and we're going to talk all about it right after this. Well, we're back, and I have been informed that I was very disrespectful to you, Jeremy, and I am not sorry about it. Many, many years of having to live in the same house with you, I have earned the ability to be... Says the firstborn oldest <laughs> child. <laughs> and the best. If they'd only known that it was only going to go downhill after me, they would not have continued. That's... that's you mean I'm... life in general went downhill after you? <laughs> 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 anyway, why don't you talk about this guitar? I am going to talk about Actually, before we do that, we do that. Yeah, the channel. Ahead. We have a channel, folks, that you're watching right now. What? Either on YouTube or Facebook or one of those channels. So make sure, if you haven't already done so, to subscribe There's to it. There's a bell up here. Somewhere, depending on where you're watching thing it. down here somewhere. I think you're all off on all that. And there's the bell's comments underneath way us on the down left. here. Anyway, above the description there is a bell. If you click on that, in case you haven't done that before, that notifies you anytime we go live or have a new video release, you'll get a notification on that, and you won't just accidentally stumble across it. You'll know about it. Mm -hmm. um, if you would like to comment on your thoughts on either uh, how to say Creedence Clearwater Revival or what you think of this Atkin guitar, please put those in the comments below. Also, if you think John's just rude and it's just a firstborn child thing, then I will agree the with you in the comments. The best comes first, then everything else. Anyway, also at the very end of this video, we have a tone sample of this guitar, so you can we skip do. all this fun banter and interaction and just listen to the guitar. I think it's so much fun. And we also have that uh, moon, blue moon rising. So yeah, clear it's, moon. it's a CCR, Jared. I so have a video We have a full that. video of that. You can go check that out. It was a whole bunch of fun to play, um, especially on this guitar. So, so why? Why don't you tell us what that guitar is all about? So this is another one of those fabulous Atkin guitars. Come all the way from England. And this one was uh, super special for, for me. England is uh, one of those countries that kind of started that whole firstborn child's most important thing with their whole kings. <laughs> Boy, if you were born second, it's pretty much you're useless. You're useless. That's exactly. And, and rightfully so, I must And that's been I passed add. down through generations so that now all middle children are Junk. useless. Junk. That's all you are. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, di I digress. <laughs> you did. Anyway, uh, Alistair Atkin uh, got a hold of me. We have been moving through Atkin guitars like crazy. Everyone we get in sells immediately. And sadly, this guitar is not uh, any different than that. We actually sold this before we even had a chance to take photos of it or do anything. That said, I do want to talk about it because it is important we will be seeing more of these. This is a 37 triple O pre-war and this has a few upgrades from their standard uh, models. This is a triple O or OM with a short scale. There's this weird thing going on with different manufacturers. Some people call it an OM short scale. Other people call it a triple O, which is a 14 fret triple O. To me, a triple O is a 12 fret. I, I'm just going to get out of there. Just go with what That's he calls it. it. This is a triple O in that it is short scale with an OM body shape. 14 frets. There you go. Um, but what makes this one super unique is an absolutely gorgeous set of Madagascar rosewood. And the pre-war is what kind of gets you into that uh, spec right there. This was a, in fact, when he sent me, he said, hey, I got a couple of guitars that maybe you'll be interested in. They weren't on my order spec, but they were things that, uh, that I thought, you know, he said, you, I thought you'd be interested. And he said, in fact, this triple O is probably one of the most gorgeous sets that we've had. So, and he wasn't lying. He no, wasn't overselling. It is an absolutely beautiful set of Madagascar rosewood. This one also gains you an Adirondack spruce top um, and just a good overall guitar. This is probably one of the biggest, meanest, vintage sounding triple O slash OMs I have played. I really do like this a lot. It also gains you that V-shaped necks, very, very vintage-like um, compared to like we were doing the uh, 43 Reserve. This one is definitely more Martin-like. I still think it is an inch and 11 sixteenths, which it probably in a pre-war should be an inch and three quarter, but 
Uh, I, you know, I'll still do with it. I like the vintage V shaped neck. It's always been one of my favorite uh, deals. Now I know a lot of people go into a more softer V, but this one's definitely a real vintage V uh, style neck. Ebony uh, bridge and fretboard on this guitar. Again, has the vintage nitro, so he does his own. In fact, I think most of the guitars we will see from them, unless special ordered, will be in the vintage. They have a little checkbox that has vintage or uh, glossy, or I think he calls it mirror finish. Um, he does a very, very thin nitro finish that he does go ahead and finish check. And like I've said in other videos, I just kind of open it up, give it, uh, you know, it flexes it. It does, that and then a when more. we ship it to the customer, you know, we don't have to worry about it finish worry. checking. That's so right. It's already, it's already built there. in. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, uh, you know, you played this. It is a big sounding guitar. I am always after, for me, I'm a very heavy handed player. And again, this is set up a little bit low for me. I'd probably go ahead and put mediums on it for my playing because I am such a heavy uh, handed player. That said, I have been looking for an OM slash triple O that would be uh, so comfortable to play, yet can be played like a dreadnought. Yeah. And I think this definitely hits that mark. Too uh, bad it's already sold. Yeah, well, I'll, I know where it's going, so I'm going <laughs> to borrow it every now and then. Borrow it every once in a while. Um, very, very great sounding guitar. I can't say enough about how much I enjoy playing this as well as its looks. Yeah, definitely very uh, excited that we got Atkin guitars in our store, uh, a premier build, um, all the way from across the pond, as they say. Across the It's pond. a large pond. It is um, a really big pond. So from clear over in England, a great builder of all kinds of, every guitar, he, we've got like numerous different body styles and even uh, kind of copying different uh, brands like Gibson or Martin, and every one of them he just kind of knocks out of the park. Yep. So very, very excited to have him in the shop. Yep. And this is a great example of another one of his smaller body, uh, I guess more traditional Martin style builds. Absolutely. And that pre-war add-on, uh, I think we will be seeing more of those in the dreads as well as uh, other body shapes, double O's. In fact, I just recently was told that they're doing an all mahogany build that just was announced. So I'm pretty excited about looking at that as well. So be on the lookout for more Adkin guitars. This one again. All the volume, all the power that you could ever want out of a guitar. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give you a tone sample of it right now. Appreciate you guys watching that video. It was my favorite it's one we've made so far. We, we've done hundreds of videos, and that was the best one. It was. And the next one's going to be even better. If you'd like <laughs> to see that, be sure you subscribe to this channel. And also, the more you comment and inter interact below, the more the YouTube algorithms pick it up and start pushing it out to other people, like-minded people. Algorithms? Algorithms. They're everywhere. They permeate the internet, and YouTube's got one. And it watches our videos, and it sees how much you comment, and then it pushes us to other people like you. And we want everyone to experience the, the acoustic shop world where we talk about instruments, we do reviews, we got some fun videos coming up. We thank you guys so much for being a part of it and we'll see you in the next video.